Hello friends, welcome, hearty welcome to you. In this session, let's try to learn about Angle Bisector Theorem. First, let's understand what is Angle Bisector Theorem. Then, we will see how to leverage Basic Proportionality Theorem to derive this particular proof. The Angle Bisector Theorem states that the angular bisector of a triangle divides the opposite side in the ratio of the sides containing the angle. So, to understand that, let's consider the triangle what we have here. We have a triangle ABC and we see that AD is the angular bisector of angle A or angle BAC. So, by that, we know that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So, what we have to prove? We have to prove that BC is divided in the ratio of BA is to AC or can I say BD by DC is equal to BA by AC. This is what we have to prove. So, let's first write down what is given to us. What is given to us? Let me write it down. We have been given that given that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 we have to prove to prove we have to prove that BD divided by DC is equal to AB divided by AC we have to prove that BD divided by DC is equal to BA divided by AC or AB divided by AC. This is what we have to prove. So, this is what is given to, to us. We have to prove this. Okay. Now, the idea is to leverage the basic proportionality theorem. What basic proportionality theorem tells? Basic proportionality theorem says that if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, then that line divides the other two sides in the same ratio. That means I need to have parallel lines. If I have parallel lines, then only I can go ahead with the basic proportionality theorem. And we don't see any parallel lines. So, I will do one thing. I will try to create a parallel line through C parallel to AD so that I will create another new triangle and in the triangle I will have two parallel lines then I will see how I can leverage the basic proportionality theorem there. So, let us do that construction part. Okay. So, what I have done now is just now I created a line parallel to AD. I have created a line parallel to AD and that intersects the extension of A at a point E. So, we have now a line CE which is parallel to AD. So, let me write it down. So, we will say here construction. What is the construction we have done? Construction. We have just created a line AD we have created a line CE such that it is parallel to CE. We have done that. Okay. Now, let us try to leverage the basic proportionality theorem. What is the triangle we are talking about now? We are talking about triangle BCE. We will say that in triangle BCE, AD R is a line which is parallel to CE and CE is a side of the triangle. So, according to basic proportionality theorem, AD should divide the remaining two sides BC and BE in the same ratio that, that BD divided by DC is equal to BA divided by AB. Uh, sorry, I can say BA divided by AE. Okay. Now, this is what we reached because we have leveraged the basic proportionality theorem. Basic proportionality theorem says that, okay, AD is parallel to CE. That means a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle. So, it will divide the other two sides in the same ratio. Therefore, BD by DC is equal to BA by AE. Actually, it is AB or BA. does not make any difference. BA by 
AE. Okay. Now what we have to prove is BD by DC is perfectly fine. AB is also fine. But it is AE we have got. But what we need to have is AC. So we have to prove somehow that AE is equal to AC now. For that what we leverage? We will leverage the properties of parallel lines and let us see how we can prove that AE is equal to AC. For that I will take this angle and I will say this angle is 3 and I will say angle this angle is equal to angle 4. Now let us write down re properties related to all these angles because we have two parallel lines. The first step I will write down is AC as transversal AC as transversal AD parallel to CE gives us AC is transversal AD parallel to CE then angle 2 is equal to angle 3. Why angle 2 is equal to angle 3? Because they are alternate interior angles. They are alternate interior angles. We know that if two lines are parallel to each other and we have a transversal then the alternate interior angles are equal. Okay. Now let us go to the next one what we can do. Now we have proven that 2 equal to 3 that is good. Let us see now what else I can prove. Okay. If you observe here we have AD. AD is making an angle one with the transversal BE. Similarly, the CE line is also making an angle 4. But if you consider AD CE and BE as the transversal, one should be equal to 4 because they are corresponding angles. So, we will write down the next step. We will say second step is we take BE as transversal. BE if I take as transversal and AD is parallel to CE that will give me angle 1 is equal to angle 4. Why angle 1 is equal to angle 4? Because they are corresponding angles. They are corresponding angles. So, we got angle 1 equal to angle 4, angle 2 equal to angle 3. We already know angle 1 equal to angle 2. So, let us write down what we got now. We know already angle 1 equal to angle 2. We just got from the first e equation that angle 2 is equal to angle 3. We also know, we also have got just now that angle 1 is also equal to angle 4. So, from this you can easily see that angle 3 is equal to angle 4. If angle 3 is equal to angle 4 that gives me that this triangle what I have created just now that is triangle CAE is isosceles triangle. Triangle CAE is isosceles triangle and you know in isosceles triangle the sides opposite to equal angles are equal. That means AC is equal to AE. Let me repeat that. First we have considered alternate interior angles. AC is transversal. ADCE are parallel lines. Therefore angle 2 equal to angle 3. Next we have taken BE as transversal. ADCE parallel lines. Angle 1 equal to angle 4. Those are corresponding angles. And we already know given to us angle 1 is angle 2. We club all of them. We get at the end that angle 3 is equal to angle 4. That means the base angles of the triangle CAE are equal. That means the opposite sides other than the base remaining two sides should be equal to each other. That tells me that this gives me that AC is equal to AE. Therefore, I can write now BD by DC is nothing but equal to AB divided by AB divided by AE. But we know that AE is nothing but equal to AC. So, this is what we need to prove. We need to prove that BD by DC is equal to AB by AC. So, let me summarize that. Angle bisector theorem says that the angular bisector 
divides the opposite side in the ratio of the sides containing the angle or in this particular figure ad is the angular bisector that divides the angle a that the angular bisector means it divides angle a into two equal parts and that divides the opposite side bc or basically in the ratio of ab is to ac or bd by dc is equal to ab by ac how we have proven that we want to leverage the basic proportionality theorem we don't see there are parallel lines because for bpt or basic proportionality theorem we need parallel lines so we have created a new triangle now in which i have parallel lines we have applied the basic proportionality theorem and this bd by dc is equal to ab by ae is coming from basic proportionality theorem if you are not aware of basic proportionality theorem please refer to the please refer to the video on the basic proportionality theorem it is on the same playlist geometry okay right now we know bd by dc equal to ab by ae but what we need to prove is bd by dc equal to ab by ac so i should be able to prove ae equal to ac so for that we took a step a little bit back and try to understand apply the properties of parallel lines related angles corresponding angles and alternate interior angles by which we found out that cae is an isosceles triangle that means ac is equal to ae so i can easily replace ae with ac and say that bd by dc equal to ab by ac so that's a angular bisector theorem proof so i'll catch you once again with another interesting topic as part of geometry thanks for your time and support bye for now